Hello YouTube. Um, you may have watched my other video. If you haven't, I would like to encourage you. Uh, I got an idea to make a speaker uh, from Kip K. It was originally out of a pepper plate, but I did it and didn't really like it. So I just thought I'd try to be creative, I guess. I don't really know. But I made one that looks just like this. Um, it's playing a song. And when you get right over it, it plays pretty loud in the video, but uh, it doesn't compete with any factory-made speaker. But it does does all right, considering it is a cap, and I drink out of the bottle at one point. So uh, I find it very interesting. Now, with the speakers, you <clears throat> basically have the same setup in all speakers. You have a voice coil, you have a magnet, you have a cone, in this case it is a cap, and you have some springs, and in this case it is uh, just some copper coiled springs. <coughs> so. I would like to determine the polarity of this voice coil. So we're going to take the top wire and hook it up to the black alligator clip, and we're going to take the yellow, uh, the bottom wire, and hook it up to the yellow alligator clip. A lot of times you'll see people use red and black for positive and negative, and it doesn't really matter. I just grab the yellow and black. So, uh, I'm going to use an alkaline battery. And for uh, many of you who I'm sure are watching this already know how to test the polarity of a speaker. Um, and even for those of you who don't, I would still like to go through and just basically explain it. You have two wires and the current will go through and either push the speaker up or pull the speaker down. And you want the speed the noise to the, the sound to go to be pushed outwards. So you want to hook the polarities up where the sound is being pushed out so you can hear it better. Because if it's being sucked in it's kinda you're just not getting the full effect. So I'm gonna hook the top wire or the black alligators to the positive of the battery and I'm simply gonna to, uh, can, to complete the circuit, I'm going to simply put the uh, yellow to the negative side. Okay, so... I'm trying to get this thing to go right here. As you can see, it's pulling the speaker in. So I have the polarities swapped, or I'll, I have them incorrect. So simply, we swap them. Or well, we don't swap them, we swap the current. And we do that by changing the direction of the current flow with the battery. So now, instead of the battery being pulled in, it should be pushed out. Just like that. And again, See there? Of course, it's kind of hard to miss that, I'm sure. It's a nice little jump. So we know now that the bottom wire is the positive wire. And if we were going to hook the speaker up, we would know to hook the this uh, homemade speaker up with the bottom, with the positive. However, I was thinking to myself, does the polarity of the magnet, or uh, will, the, will the polarity of the magnet affect the polarity of the wire? And to find out, we simply swap the magnet. So now, instead of north facing up, south is facing up, or vice versa, because I don't have this neodymium magnet uh, marked. So we're going to put this here, negative alligator clip back on. Or, well, excuse me, we're going to put the yellow 
uh, alligator clip back onto the positive. And I simply hold this with my other hand. See there? It's pulling in. It's got quite a bit of force actually. Kind of cool. If you like that sort of stuff, that is. Which I do like that sort of stuff. So, just for kicks, let's swap the direction of the current flow. So now we have the positive going to the top wire through the black alligator clip. Wow. I'm impressed. Let's see here. Let's see if we can push this magnet to the side so it's resting. There we go. Huh. Seemed like it got more of a jump when it started from the bottom. Let's see. I can't really tell from my angle, but I'm sure from the video you can tell. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Watch my other video. Tell me what you think. And share it with your friends. Have them leave a comment. Put it on Facebook. Post it on Facebook. It's going to be great. Alright. I'm sure you're done watching this now.